On April 1, 2022, American billionaire and Tesla CEO shocked the automotive industry with an announcement that would have a lasting impact. Initially, it seemed like an April Fool's prank, but the CEO of the world's leading EV company revealed a newfound belief in the potential of fuel cell technology for the future of automobiles. This announcement raised questions about its significance, its connection to fuel cells, and how it would revolutionize the automotive industry. After Tesla dominated the majority of the EV market following the launch of its car in 2012, other companies recognized the need to differentiate themselves. In 2013, Hyundai took a step toward innovation by producing an electric vehicle powered by hydrogen fuel cells instead of batteries. These cars became known as FCVs or FCEVs, with the Hyundai X35 FCEV being the first commercially produced hydrogen car. A fuel cell electric vehicle utilizes a fuel cell to supply energy to the electric motor, often in conjunction with a small battery or supercapacitor. Fuel cells generate electricity by using oxygen from the air and compressed hydrogen. Since fuel cell vehicles are electrified, most of them are considered zero-emission vehicles, emitting only water and heat. Although the idea of hydrogen-powered vehicles has existed since the 1800s, it became a reality in 1959 when a farm tractor was fitted with a 15-kilowatt fuel cell. Further advancements were made, but it wasn't until Hyundai's emergence in 2013 that these cars could be produced for sale. Just a year later, Toyota introduced the first generation of the Toyota Mirai, an FCV that utilized both fuel cell and hybrid technology. The Mirai proved to be fuel efficient and showed more promise than regular EVs, with faster charging and longer range, while remaining emission free. Initially, it was only sold in California and Japan, and despite being expensive, it sold approximately 20,000 units. The second generation, launched in 2016, was made available globally and achieved remarkable sales, despite infrastructure challenges with hydrogen gas availability. Another FCV released was the Honda Clarity in 2016, which failed to gain expected recognition and had its production discontinued in 2021. Currently, the Toyota Mirai and Hyundai Nexo are the only FCEV cars on the market, but several automobile companies, including BMW and Mercedes-Benz, are working diligently to develop their own versions of hydrogen-powered cars. Tesla observed the shift in the automotive industry towards hydrogen technology and decided to join the trend before being left behind. Initially, Elon Musk strongly opposed hydrogen-powered cars, considering them a bad choice due to the challenges associated with storing energy and the high volatility and flammability of hydrogen fuel. However, Tesla's technical genius is likely found a way to overcome these obstacles, inspired by Toyota's success in reducing the cost of energy production and storage. Tesla's mission to reduce the carbon footprint and stay ahead in zero-emission markets further motivated the decision to explore hydrogen technology. Another factor that could have influenced Musk's change of heart was the alleged issues with mass production of Tesla's 4,680 batteries, a claim made by 12 experts in 2022. The acquisition of Maxwell in 2019 provided Tesla with dry coating technology, a crucial component of producing 4,680 batteries. While the technology enabled faster battery manufacturing, experts suggested that increasing production volumes compromised battery quality. The specifics of the battery challenges are uncertain as Tesla has not made any official statements. However, these circumstances contributed to Tesla's decision to develop a hydrogen-powered car. Tesla's hydrogen car, known as the Model H, has generated significant excitement. It features a dual classic color code, falls between the size of the Model X and Model Y, and belongs to the popular crossover segment. In terms of speed, it surpasses previous Tesla models, with an additional sports car feature called the Hindenburg mode. This mode utilizes SpaceX technology to provide a rocket-based flame speed boost using available hydrogen enabling the car to reach 60 miles per hour in just 1.2 seconds. The Model H also introduces unique camera systems that replace side mirrors, with images displayed on screens above the steering wheel for improved visibility. The Model H is powered by six electric motors, two for the front wheels and four for the back. Graphene batteries are strategically placed beneath the floor to ensure proper weight distribution and enhance balance. Additionally, the car offers a five-seat model with an optional seven-seat configuration for long trips. Refreshing water is obtained from the fuel cell's water byproduct, and the vehicle includes AMD Ryzen-powered entertainment systems with a selection of classic movies and documentaries. According to Elon Musk's Twitter announcement, the Model H can only be acquired using Dogecoins. 
This introduction of hydrogen-fueled cars by Tesla is not a passing phase, as the company has planned a timeline for subsequent models. After the Model H in 2024, Tesla plans to release the highly anticipated Model 2 in 2025. Initially designed as a battery-powered EV, the Model 2 will now feature hydrogen fuel cells to reduce costs and offer a range of 400 miles in a compact hatchback design. In 2027, Tesla might release the Model O, a hydrogen-powered coupe with unique features and an upgraded Hindenburg mode, capable of reaching 60 miles per hour in just 0.2 seconds. Safety measures such as specially designed gel-based seats and pre-administered drugs would be implemented to counteract the extreme g-forces experienced during acceleration. With the adoption of hydrogen cells, Tesla's superchargers would be replaced by hydrogen fuel stations. Tesla is also exploring the use of deuterium and tritium variants of hydrogen for future vehicle power, a strategy Musk refers to as the new isotope era. It's important to note that none of the information regarding Tesla's hydrogen vehicle has been officially confirmed, so changes and alternate plans may occur. The reactions of Tesla's rivals to this new development remain unknown. What are your thoughts on Tesla's plan to produce hydrogen cars? Do you think Elon Musk is succumbing to industry pressure? How do you believe Tesla's competitors will respond to this new direction? So, what do you think? Feel free to discuss in the comments section below. Thanks for watching, and if you enjoyed this episode, subscribe to Trending Updates.